Dance me to your beauty with a burning violin. Dance me through the panic till I'm gathered safely in. Lift me like an olive branch and be my homeward dove. And dance me to the end of love. We just got the word from the weather service that Florida has a state of emergency because there's a hurricane coming in about five days. Um, so that's really awesome. So we're really trying to double down and get as much done as we can uh, because we might have to potentially leave town. Um, but luckily we have a teardrop to leave town in, a partially done teardrop. So we're working on uh, the doors. We've had a couple issues um, just getting things lined up. Laura's inside putting on some uh, the mushroom vents. I've got these really long bolts. I've got eight out of the 10 in, but the last two are proving to be a bit tricky. Um, let's come back here. There's Fiona working on the, the mushroom vents. Bowie is keeping guard. Um, we got this on, this was really exciting. The, these little uh, pneumatic parts that- Gas springs. Gas springs. And we also got this little lock on here. So now when you open it up, whoa, it goes up on its own. Crooked. Yes, we're, <laughs> we're getting a lot done and we're really gonna try to do as much because we might have a big problem here later in the week. Sometimes projects go to plan and sometimes they do not. It is uh, Tuesday, uh, September 5th, and we have a Hurricane Irma um, on its way here. And the latest forecast looks pretty nasty that it's gonna hit somewhere close to, to South Florida and then bend up and basically run over all of Florida. So uh, we're pretty nervous about it and we think it makes sense to, to get out of here. Um, so we've got the teardrop here sort of built, but not quite. We have to still working on the drawers, still have to do electronics, still have to do accessories. There's a lot of stuff we still have to do, but we're just not going to have the time or opportunity to do it. So over the next day or so, we're going to, we're going to pack this up. We're going to leave the things that are not completed, um, like the drawers and whatnot. And then we're going to basically load all of our belongings. Um, some people don't realize we actually run Waterless, the company, out of this house. So we have all of our inventory, all of our computers, all of our cameras, all of our stuff. Um, we're really worried that that's all gonna get just destroyed with flooding and whatnot. So we're gonna load it all up. We're gonna put a lot of it actually in the teardrop and uh, we're gonna head north and just get out of town. So um, I don't foresee it being a very productive week in terms of teardrop building, but we'll be sure to um, probably film some of it and keep you guys uh, up to date. And uh, it'll be a cool test run. Of the of the teardrop to see how she does and uh, make sure everything's watertight and all that kind of stuff so uh, that's what we're doing now and hopefully the storm's not as bad as we think it could be this is all there's left used to be full of tools and now it's empty we likes to keep guard down here hey buddy um, but yeah we've got the teardrop we're using it as a storage um, we got the doors more or less settled. We still have to kind of work on them. We had some issues with the hinges, but we just filled it up. This is all the stuff that is yet to go on the teardrop. There's all sorts of cool goodies, cool different products that we're going to be showing you in the next episodes. Um, but for now, we're just putting them in here to keep them safe. And we're going to pull this thing uh, up north uh, out of town so it doesn't get smashed. Yesterday we drove out of Miami trying to get away from Hurricane Irma and it wasn't too bad of a drive. Uh, the traffic wasn't all that bad um, and we actually made it, we got pretty good mileage with the, uh, with the teardrop which is now here. We're in um, Jacksonville staying at a friend's house and then later today we're going to go west um, and we're not really sure where we're going to go. We've got some friends staying near Tallahassee um, so we think we're going to maybe head that way. Uh, we might even go farther west, like into Alabama, um, just because the latest track looks pretty pretty nasty. And uh, we got a lot of friends that are still staying in Miami 
Um, so it's pretty nerve wracking because it's quite a big, nasty storm. So thinking of everybody down there. The girls are shipping. So orders are still coming into the website. So we got to um, keep shipping them out. So we brought all of the products and the printers and office equipment. So this is the first time we've ever done a, a shipment out of the back of a truck in a parking lot. So that's sort of, sort of interesting. Um, so we're going to go ahead and ship these out today in Jacksonville. And uh, so for, for folks that are getting leggings in the next couple days and, uh, and shirts and stuff, they're coming with love from a parking lot. We've got the team hard at work here in our friend's living room, um, shipping stuff out today. Bowie's working very hard, very, very hard. And uh, we've had to kind of figure out how to do this on the fly. So we brought a laptop, um, we brought our, our printer. Shout out to Lauren in Columbus, Ohio. Crystal in California. JA in Great Britain, oh, that one's going far. Lacey in New York, Jenna in Australia. So yeah, just keeping the dream alive here and trying to make it happen. And uh, we'll be doing this kind of throughout our little road adventure here. And who knows where the next one will go. Thanks for, to Chris for the living room. Yeah, and thanks for our friend Chris for letting us use his <laughs> living room as our uh, business space. But yesterday, Irma passed. Today, it's a beautiful day up here in northern Florida. Um, teardrop weathered the storm. Um, we kind of put it in the lee of the house here so it wouldn't get so much wind. And it looks pretty good. I don't think we got any, any rain or any water, which is great. So the, uh, the doors did their jobs and all the gear here stayed, stayed, uh, stayed dry. It was a little bit nerve-wracking. We came all this distance to avoid any damage, and we had another car truck right here, and then this tree, this little tree went down and almost hit the truck, so that would have sucked. But uh, yeah, overall it wasn't too bad. We got about 45 knots of wind, and that's about it, a lot of rain. But now we're gonna try to head back south and hopefully, um, hopefully make it back to Miami, but they don't have power, and we're not sure the gas situation, so. We're gonna to try to get us out as we can and uh, take it from there. It's pretty surreal. We got back to Miami uh, yesterday and we're here just kind of exploring downtown and there's boats and debris um, everywhere really in the waterfront got the worst of it uh, inland wasn't wasn't too bad and definitely a lot better than um, a lot of the other places in florida and the caribbean and but yeah we're just kind of checking out the neighborhood and seeing what's left of stuff um, a lot of sunken boats out there it's just crazy. The teardrop has survived the road trip. Uh, our house is relatively okay. Um, we got back in last night and power just came back on uh, and so we were pretty excited to get back to work but then this morning um, there was some type of explosion in the backyard and sparks. I don't know if it was a transformer but something exploded and now we don't have power again. So um, we're not going to be able to get to work on the teardrop quite yet but I figured I'd give you a run through of um, some of the things we learned and things we have to do before we get this thing ready to go for the long trip. So one thing we noticed is the, the levelness of the trailer. Um, these wheels and the axle on this particular model sit quite high. And we noticed that when you're looking at the, the trailer and how it sits on the hitch, 
that the entire trailer actually would sit slightly like this. So the wheels were a little bit higher than the connection point on the truck. And the downside about this is that it means that our heads, when we're sleeping, are always going to be a little bit lower than our, than our legs um, on a flat surface. And that's a real pain in the neck for anyone that's ever you know, gone camping. So what we're going to do, and we spoke with the manufacturer about this, is, and this was suggested by some people on YouTube also, we're going to come in here and we're going to flip the axle and we're going to put it on top of the leaf spring. So that should move the entire trailer um, down a little bit. And we talked to the manufacturer, they said this was okay. Um, you just got to be careful that you you have enough range um, for the, uh, the leaf springs, um, especially if you're doing any type of off-roading. But we're going to be mostly um, driving this thing on highway miles and stuff, so we think it should, should be fine. An added benefit of putting the axle on the other side of the leaf springs is it's going to move the entire trailer down a couple inches which is gonna give us a little bit more access to the galley. So that's definitely gonna help there also. We've gotta finish the drawers. Uh, we've already have, had the drawers built, but we've gotta actually install them and we need to finish painting and installing the, uh, this door. And this door is gonna be very, it's gonna be one big door that covers uh, the entire back of the, uh, of the teardrop. And it's gonna have like a little tailgate feature so that um, you can kind of deploy it halfway down and the, the drawers will actually rest on this and that'll help support them so there's a little bit less pressure up front. So we have the doors built, but we just gotta, we gotta um, paint, prime them, paint them, and install them. Up front we have our, our storage here and we have to put the doors on it. And to do that, we need to install some hinges, which will require us to actually remove the teardrop off the box, um, which is quite a task because we have to undo all the bolts and lift it up. So that's gonna be a little bit of a headache. But we also wanna do that because we've noticed a little bit of water um, was coming in. I mean, it was also really, really heavy tropical storm rain, but um, we were noticing a little bit of water getting between the teardrop and the box. And this shouldn't be a big problem, but over time that could definitely cause issues. So when, when we lift this up, we're going to put a gasket around the entire uh, perimeter of the pe uh, teardrop, and that should help seal in uh, any water from getting in and just kind of living in there. Probably the most important thing we have to do is check the integrity of the bolts. So after doing, we probably put around, well, I don't know, almost a thousand miles on the trailer out running Hurricane Irma. Um, and we had all this gear in, in the, uh, the teardrop itself, all the equipment that's gonna be installed on it later. Um, so it was pretty weighted down. And what we wanna look at is we're using uh, quarter 20 bolts, 10 of them, to mount the teardrop to the box and the box to the trailer. And so you can see them Here's the, uh, these are the little, the little heads of those quarter 20 bolts, and there's 10 of them here. And when we attached this, we noticed that the, the, the shape of the teardrop was actually a little bit bowed. So it wasn't sitting on a flat surface flush. So to make it flush, we had to really tighten those bolts quite tight, and it kind of bent the whole, the whole structure kind of flattened out, which I think is fine. Um, but the problem is it puts a lot of pressure on the bolts and it puts a lot of pressure on the wood. So we want to see how those holes are taking all the pressure, all the bangs of the trailer. And we won't really know until we get in there and examine the holes. So since we have to take the, the lift the teardrop off anyway, we're going to take all the bolts out, examine the holes, and make sure that those bolts are doing their job right so that we're safe for the long haul and we're not going to have some type of wood fracture or anything like that. Um, but other than that, we've got a little bit more work to do on the doors. Um, but just those you know, minor adjustments, and then we'll be ready to install all the accessories and the electronic system and all that kind of fun stuff. So we're really, really close, uh, but we've got a little bit more housekeeping to do before we can get uh, those final projects.